Well, hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. This video is actually a collaboration with soap makers all around the world, and I'm thrilled to be a part of this. And the theme for it is wonderful water. So it's definitely going to be a water inspired soap. As a little bit of something different, I've decided to remake a soap that I used to make well over 20 years ago, and it's just as popular as it was back then. So I can't wait to share this with you. If we've not met before, welcome. I'm Sarah James from SoapSchool.com and we help aspiring entrepreneurs to start their own soap and cosmetics business. But this is all about just having fun and celebrating soap making. So let's look at the ingredients. These are super, super simple. The first thing we have is a melt and pour base. This particular one is an SLES free base, but you can use any clear base for this. And if you're not sure where to find these, any soap making supplies company will sell a glycerin soap base, but you can also buy it from most of your craft or hobby stores as well. So it's, it is widely, widely available. The next thing we're going to use is this, and this is called reindeer moss. Now I am using the uncolored one. I don't like using the colored ones because you don't know what dyes they've used and they may not be skin safe. I'm also using some white poppy seeds and I've got a little bit of a skin toned mica. And then I'm going to use two liquid colors. These are water-based colors. I've got a blue and a green and I've got a cosmetic grade fragrance oil. And the only other thing you're going to need is a little bit of water, a knife to cut your soap base up and a silicon mould. So the first thing that I need to do is to rehydrate the moss because it becomes really dry and brittle and crunchy and that's really not going to work as we need it to. These are often quite compacted when you buy them as well. So let's just pop that into some water and allow that to properly rehydrate. It really takes a couple of seconds, that's all. The moss itself, once it's been soaked, is absolutely beautiful. And I really want to show you how lovely this is because it's something that I used, oh, it was one of the earlier soaps that I ever made. And we sold this for years and years and years. Look how soft and springy this is. But it always reminded me of coral. And that's exactly what I use it for in my soap. And it's really soft and spongy and just very, very gentle on the skin once you've allowed it to rehydrate. And the next thing to do is to pre-cut your soap. And you'll need to chop this into small cubes so that it's easy to melt and this will form the first layer. And we're going to create something that looks almost like a sandy layer at the bottom of the mold. So all we need to do now is to pop this into the microwave for about two minutes on a low heat. Now, the great thing about doing this type of soap making is that you really can do this so easily. And it's also brilliant to do with children. And because I'm using a powdered color, I do need to just wet this a little bit first and I really don't want very much colour in there at all. I just want enough to give it a little bit of a sandy look. So a couple of drops of water and add it into my soap and give that a good mixing. And then I need some fragrance for this level. And then we need to again give that a really good mixing. Now if your soap does start to set, you can just pop it back in the microwave for five or 10 seconds just to bring it back to a fluid. And now I'm gonna add in my white poppy seeds. So I don't know about you or where you are right now, but here, the majority of the country is still in lockdown and the children are still off school. And this is the kind of project that you could maybe do with them and just have some fun time there's no lye involved in this soap and with some supervision this will be a great project to do with them. Now we need to wait for this to skin over and to start to set a little bit because if I try and pour the next layer on right now it's all going to mix together and that's no good whatsoever. 
Now we have the remainder of our soap here all chopped up and ready to go. So while we're just finalising that layer setting, it's time to get this element melted down. Let's pop that in the microwave. This is going to take probably about five minutes. So the soap is all melted now and I can add my colour. I need this to cool down a little bit though, it's a little bit hot right now. So let's get some colour in. I don't want this to be strong in colour at all. Doesn't it always look pretty when you add colour in? That's lovely. That's exactly what we're looking for. You know, the funny thing is that we have been making this soap for... Jenny, when did we actually start? Or can you remember when we started doing this particular soap? About 24. Five years ago, 24, 25 years. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. It was one of, one of our first. It probably was the second collection that we did. I know we used to sell this to Egypt, we believe did. it or not. To the tourist industry. To the tourist industry, yes. Well, we did this as part of a collection, didn't we? Can you remember what we called this particular soap? Coral Reef. We did. We had um, an amber one called Sepia World. Oh my gosh, we did. Yes, yes. In fact, I can remember what we used. We used rooibos. As the natural colour. A rooibos infusion for the natural colour, which gave it a kind of amber colour. And then we had the moss in. We did. Sepia world. Wow, it's a bit of a trip down memory lane, this, for both of us, actually. <laughs> Right, that's cooled down nicely. We're at 56 degrees Celsius. That's 133 Fahrenheit. And we're ready for the next stage. So I'm just going to spray the top and pour this soap on. So you've been making soap with me since you were a little girl. I have. Do you like soap I making? I love soap making. I know you love candle making almost more. You've been making candles for how long? What, how old were you when you started making candles? About four years old. So quite a long time then. <laughs> Shh, don't tell everyone. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it just reminds me of many soaps that we've made in the past. I know, it's taking me back so much doing this actually. It's um, <laughs> just so many memories. All right, so we're going to take this and we're just going to pop it into the top like this and you'll see you don't need to put this in first in fact it's better if you don't put it in first because what we found over the years is if you try and put it in first and then pour the soap on it ends up in a kind of clump uh, pushed down to the bottom and you don't get that same kind of coral look to it it's a bit more squished Whereas when you put it in in these little kind of small sections, just break them off and put them in. Literally, we tend to just put them down the centre and then just use a knife or a spoon and just gently push it down a little bit, just really, really gently so it's where you want it to be. You don't want to totally squash it because we want that lovely frond-like patterning on the inside. Give it a final spray and we just need to allow that to set up now and then we'll come back and cut it. And this was always my favourite colour, doing it in this colour. What was your favourite colour? It was a sea soap with the seaweed in Ah, the Arami. Yes. The Arami seaweed. Yes. So that was a different soap to this. It is. And that, go on, what was the name? It was um, Irish Sea Breeze. It was! <laughs> Irish sea breeze. This particular one that we're making now, we've done with sand and without sand. And in fact, when we wholesaled this, we didn't ever do the sand layer in this. Yeah. We just did the the block in the sea blue, just literally like that. And it was just called Coral Reef. Well, I hope that you are enjoying coming down memory lane with myself and my daughter, because it's a bit of a blast from the past for us. And we'll be back in just a blink. I hope you enjoy it. So here is our beautiful soap. And now we're ready for just cutting this. Now, because it's layered, I'm gonna cut it on its side. It's probably better to just put some guidelines. Let's see what this looks like inside. I hope you like this one. It's 
As I said, it's a soap that we made for so many years, it's always remained very, very popular with us. But can you see that beautiful patterning? It literally is like coral. And when you put a light behind it, it really, really comes to life. I don't know if you can see that one, but the actual look is so realistic to coral. They just look amazing. I'll try and get some close-up shots to show you in a second. So the bottom is done as a layer with exfoliants and then the main body has got the sea moss embedded into it as a second layer. So I hope you enjoy this one. Now this is a soap collaboration. So in the comments, I'm going to leave the hashtag of the collaboration itself because there are some amazing soap project and I would love for you to be able to see them. So thank you so much for joining with me today. I hope that you maybe have a chance to learn something from this or maybe it's inspired you to do something with your friends or your family or just for yourself. And if you'd like to come and see more of our videos you can click on the subscribe button and if you ding the bell you'll get a notification to let you know when we've posted something new and fun to share with you. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.